Hey guys, this video is going to be the uh, bucket level indicator build. I'll show you uh, parts list and all that stuff as well. It is for the Massey 1723, but it's kind of a generic uh, project that I think could be used for numerous brands. Uh, so I'll go through that. You'll see um, also toward the end, I'm going to get my son who I just saw come out of the house. Uh, he's going to come out and uh, film some of it in operation. So I'm excited to be back here uh, outside, at least doing light duty work. Um, I uh, went down, my back went out. Well, it wasn't my back, it was my leg. You know, you tweak the, the discs, kind of tweak the nerve in the back and they uh, all run... Well, they run all over your body. In my case, my L4 runs down through my leg. So I'm still a little numb and uh, tingly, burny uh, down in the ankle. Um, uh, but I'm doing a whole lot better than I was uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, I was in the hospital for a few days. It was really bad. So let me, let me, word of warning here. If you don't take care of your back and your discs, change. Change, change, change. Uh... Because there's no fixing it, right? There's no going back. You're like, oh, surgery, clean it up and all that. You don't want to do that. You want to prevent it. Um, so I wish I'd uh, maybe taken a little better care of myself years ago. But it is what it is. So now I just got to keep on plugging and, um, you know, do, do the best I can. All these other YouTube channels say, if you like the video, like, subscribe. I don't care what you do. I hope you do. Um, but I'm not here trying to make a buck. I'm just, you know, I have fun making the videos and, uh, you know, I hope I can show people a thing or two, uh, either through my experience or through my failures, um, or a little bit of both on occasion. So, but I ho hope you enjoy and, uh, post in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Well, I did my first bit of snow clearing with the tractor and it went pretty well. Uh, see the parking area is pretty good. The actual driveway, I'm going to have to level the hump out of that this summer. Uh, cause you just can't get down close enough to the, uh, crush and run. Um, but the problem I'm running into is you got, you've run the bucket in float and you got to kind of pitch it back so you don't dig up gravel. And I don't have a bucket level indicator. So remember, this is Redneck Ed. So I made one. <laughs> <laughs> I made a temporary one and you can see it kind of got caught up toward the end and it busted. But basically all I did, you can see a zip tie still on here. I put zip ties through this hole and then I zip tied to the um, cylinder here. So this was actually, let me turn it around. This was about like that. Let's see here. About like that and then zip tied up there and then the piece of tape was my indicator and that's how I knew whether my bucket was uh, level. Um, so I'm going to replace that with something a little more permanent. And here are those parts. Um, I think I'm going to start out by using that old fiberglass pole um, just as the test thing. And then I'm going to buy instead of this steel rod, which would need, you know, cleaned, all the oil cleaned off of it and, um, you know, painted so it doesn't rust. I'm going to buy an aluminum rod. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it just like any uh, bucket level indicator. Uh, I'll paste the picture in right now of what the uh, regular Massey uh, FL1805 bucket level indicator uh, looks like mounted. Um, the pr it's about 50 bucks, I think. The problem with that is the indicator, um, as you can see, goes around this hose so that's pretty low. So from the tractor seating position, let's take a look at that. Okay, so here I am, center head level, and you can see the indicator would be somewhere like right around down in there, I think. Um, so I'd have to lean over, or obviously if the arms were in the up position, I would be able to see it a little better, which that would work, I suppose. You know, level the bucket. You know, you, you pick up dump snow, bring the bucket back, level it, and then put the loader arms down in the float. Not a bad solution, 
but I'd much rather have my level indicator up here where I can see it even if the loader arms are down. So let me show you my parts list. All right, so I already mentioned that I'm going to probably start with the junk fiberglass pole uh, because Home Depot doesn't stock the aluminum poles. Um, so I'll just start with that uh, mounted to this metal hardware, and then I'll, I'll order the aluminum one, put the little bend in it, you know, just like... Uh, uh, just like the, the Massey factory one. So here's my plan. This is from the plumbing section. This is a galvanized um, pipe hanger, one inch. And this will clamp around the um, hydraulic cylinder. It's a little large, so I'll probably put like a rubber shim or something inside. Plus that'll give it a little cushioning um you know, and, and keep, you know, like non-slip sort of around the cylinder. And then I discovered that this has a 3 8 coarse shaft. So I got a 3 8 stainless eye hook. And then what will happen is the aluminum rod will go through this eye hook. And then I'll put a washer on each side and drill through the aluminum rod and a cotter pin. So the, the, uh, the rod will be positioned like that with the washer on each side, the aluminum rod through the center, and um, and then the cotter pins. And again, this is all stainless. That's galvanized, but this is all stainless. So that's not going to rust. And then up here on this side, I'll, I'll, I want to put it on the inside here, and I think it's long enough to, to fit in there. Um, I got another eye bolt, um, 3 8 again. Obviously, I didn't need three eighths. That just happened to be like the right size here. Then I got two uh, lock nuts um, so that it I can make sure it's not going to be vibrating, you know, in and out. Um, and then I got washers and then I got these neoprene washers. So what I'll do, I'll probably run it through here and put a neoprene washer and then a metal washer on each side to sandwich it here. The neoprene is just so I don't scratch up the, the paint. And then that eye hook, or is it eye bolt, I guess? Okay, so that eye bolt will set about right there. And I'll, you know, have a nut and a washer and everything on each side. And that, sh that will clear the hood, right? And that will also, more importantly, we're going to clear these hydraulic hoses by, by a good margin. So in the end, I'll end up with a aluminum steel ro uh, aluminum rod about there, hooked to there. I'll bend this down so it's not like sticking up. I'm going to poke my eye out, and that will be my level indicator. Step one here, I am going to put this clamp, get a little close up here, around the uh, hydraulic cylinder. And it's a little too big. I didn't want to go too small. You know, you can't get the, like the, I couldn't find like a perfect size. Because um, small, I would have risked like digging in to the piston when I clamp it down. So I got went a little big and then I'm just going to fill the gap with either this uh, tire plug material or just wrap some tape around the cylinder. There we are. I, I just used two wraps of Gorilla Tape. And that uh, took up the slack and gave me a little play. The screws aren't quite tightened down, but it's it's snug and it, it shouldn't rotate. Um, so now I'm going to put the uh, eye hook in there. All right, there's a little better view of the um, eye hook screwed in. Now, it's not in all the way, right? I don't want it tight up against that piston. Uh, that'd be bad. So I backed it off. And now I'm just going to snug this uh, nut down. Until I get the aluminum rod that's going to be, you know, permanent, what I'm going to do is put this uh, fiberglass one down in there just temporarily. So I've um, drilled two holes down through it. That's where the cotter pins uh, will go, and then I'll put a washer on each side. I've got the cotter pins in and the washers, and it's pretty good. I might need a little better solution on the final, but I think the final, uh, I think what I got is I have a washer that has the a quarter inch size hole to match the aluminum rod I ordered. Um, so I don't think I'll have this uh, washer 
play, um, which would mean the cotter pin uh, is going to work a lot better. And next here, I'm going to put this in the hole, and I got I fashioned a little rubber washer to go around it. It'll fit in there. And we'll make sure we get it set at the exact same you know distance here, so the bar you know comes up perfectly straight. Now I've got it set in the uh, uh, loose state here. I'll show you before I tighten everything down what I have. I have eye bolt nut. I was going to go locking there, but they're kind of hard to ratchet up all the way, and I don't think I'm going to need it. So we'll just go with the regular nut. Now I've got stainless steel washer, neoprene washer, and then I've got a rubber insert in there. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's just enough to, to fill the, the gap in this hole and keep the hook from sliding around. Then I've got neoprene, and then I had another stainless washer for this side that matched the size, but I was afraid that it was going to get too close to that piston. Um, so I downsized it, and uh, that's what I'm going to go with. And there it is tightened down. Now, it's pretty tight, um, and you see the washer bowed out some, so I guess my little rubber insert was a little too much, so effectively what's tightening it right now is the rubber. It's not like metal on metal, but you know, I think that's probably good. Um, of course, I'll be careful the first time I, you know, move it uh, to make sure that it's not hitting that cylinder, but there, there we go. Snowball fight. No, you can't snowball. Okay. All right, well, that worked pretty well. My plan was to replace this chintzy fiberglass pole with an aluminum one, which I've ordered. Um, and then what I, I'm going to do is I'll tighten that with like a piece of rubber, kind of like I did here to get this tight in the hole. What I liked was this piece of tape uh, that didn't quite stick. I really liked using that as the gauge because I could see it coming up and then when it flops over the ring, you know your level. So this might be a thing where I could just, um, I don't know, I'm thinking like there's got to be something I could cinch around the aluminum pole and then it's adjustable or just anything, maybe just a rubber piece or something, something I could slide up and down the aluminum pole uh, because different attachments are going to have different level. And of course, snow, um, I don't really want level. I want, you know, pitched back. One thing we did, by the way, before we, uh, you know, got, got going here was we made sure that this washer wasn't hitting this cylinder in any condition. And I'll keep an eye on that, too. Of course, I've got the rubber in the center there to keep it from moving. I might go ahead and change it out to a smaller washer just to be safe. Uh, but... It, uh, it wasn't hitting, so that, that was a good thing. Uh, but the reason I mention that is because if you want to do this same solution, um, but you don't have, maybe don't have a hole here, because I've seen some tractors where there's the, uh, the I guess, the, uh, the bearing here, and then it kind of hooks over here. It's like a metal plate. Instead, is use one of these and attach it like here. Well, or here, I guess, really. 
Um, cause there's, there's, I'm pretty sure this doesn't go down so far as to pinch that. Now you can see that's pretty wide there. So you might have to like angle it up some, um, you know, so it'd be sticking out here. Your, your ring, this ring will be here. Uh, but that would work, right? It's just cylinder, you know, just attaches to the cylinder. That'd be another way of doing it. Just again, just gotta make sure you're never going to hit, uh, hit your arm there, loader arm. All right, well, I'm rambling on enough here. This this really worked out good. I'm real happy with this. Uh, so uh, we're going to put the tractor away. You want to sign off? Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, wait, no, bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I made it snow. All right, you're supposed to say, like, hey, if you like this kind of stuff, comment, like, subscribe below. Check out our future videos. You don't want to say that, do you? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's what everyone else says. Why don't we say that? Uh, because we don't advertise our channel. Because <laughs> we're not trying to make money. Yeah. We're just having fun. Oh! You better watch those rocks. There's a bunch of rocks in there. All right, I'll get the bucket and scoop you up. We won't okay. record that, though. All right, see you guys.